Um, hey guys, um, we're back with a little bit more of uh, another Minecraft rant. You know how it is. Gonna lower the volume down a little bit because it seemed to be a little high in the last video. Um, back in World One. <laughs> I don't think uh, you get meat from from killing chickens. Um, place some dirt down here. Um, uh, I want to talk about something a little personal today. Um, a little bit of a personal kind of struggle um, that I've had with uh, my sexuality. Uh, feels weird saying that out loud. Um, so recently, there's been you know, some, some occurrences that has had me, you know, questioning, um, if I'm straight or if I'm actually bisexual, you know, um, um, so, you know, to preface this, I'll, I'll explain it a little bit, uh, while we, you know, wait for the daytime to come, daytime to come, maybe get some dirt so I can expand this area a little bit, um, But, uh, I, uh, I was playing VR chat. Um, you know, I was kind of getting into it. Um, oh, jeez. Skeletons are really dangerous, but... I was kind of getting into it, you know. Just, just playing around, meeting new people and stuff like that. And, you know, it's, it's been... It's been really fun. Um, and, you know, I... I met some... Some gay folks. You know, some bi folks. And, there was, there were a couple that I met that were being flirtatious towards me, and you know I talked to them a lot and got to know them and stuff like that, and you know I, I don't know. It, it had me questioning, you know, if, if really I'm, I'm straight. I, I really, I don't know. I, I felt attracted in a way, you know what I mean? Like, I felt like I was attracted to them, and, um, before you say, oh, you know, you're just attracted to their avatar, because in VR chat you can have avatars. Um, well, no, it, it wasn't that, you know, they were nice people, and, you know, they... I don't know, it was just... It, it's complicated, it's a complicated feeling, you know? Um, especially since, from, from what I know, I've, I've been straight all my life, you know, I've been... I've been a heterosexual male forever. Um, you know, this is kind of really messing with me, messing with my head right now. You know, um, I'm not really sure how to deal with it because you know I've I've been heterosexual for all my life, and you know, we, this just came out of nowhere, and and I don't know, it's got me a little messed up. Uh, okay, mess, maybe messed up's not the right word to use, but it's got me a little bit confused is probably, yeah. Confused is a better word here. Uh, you know, I, I want to, um... I want to know, you know, if this is, like, just a phase or if this is something I'm really into. And the thing is, I, I can't really explore that that much, you know, it, um, I, I, I mean, I feel an attraction to them, you know, like, to, to, to these men, but, like, I, you know, I, I'm, I, I, I don't know how, how really to explain it, I, I'm just, you know, it, I'm just... I, I can't explore it, right? Because, well, I have a girlfriend. Um, and, you know, I, I love her to death. She's amazing. I love every 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 last thing about her, you know, everything. She, she's amazing. Um, and, you know, I, I want to know if this attraction I have, you know, to, to these men is actually something real or if it's just a phase, you know what I mean? But I'm not going to cheat on her or anything like that before you guys get any ideas. Um, but, you know, it's, 
just uh, confusing. And you know, I don't even know what I'd tell my parents um, if uh, if they knew. Um, you know, that they, they they they're nice people, but uh, I don't know. I don't think they're. They, I don't think they're very modern thinking people, you know? I think they would be, honestly, I think they might be a little disgusted, but I don't know. Like I said, I, I have a lot of worries about this. And I don't know if I should, you know, I keep saying you know a lot, but it's just hard to get these feelings out, you know? But yeah, it's it's hard. I love her, um, but I want to know, you know, if this is something that I'm really into. And it's just been a confusing kind of discovery. Uh, maybe I am, you know. I mean, if I find the attraction there, then I am, right? Uh, is that how it works? Like I said, I don't rightly know. It's definitely not a simple, not a simple issue. Um, and you know, I have bi friends. I have bi friends, and, I, and I've talked to them. And you know, they're here for my support. They're here to talk to me. But it's kind of like a battle within. You know what I mean? Uh, what, what you really think, if you're confused or not, and, and stuff like that. And, So I don't know. My grandma, bless bless her, I love her so much. Um, I don't know how she would even react, you know. Um, I don't even know how she feels about these kinds of things. Um, I'm just scared, you know. I'm, I'm worried about how things might turn out. And honestly, if I, if I came to the conclusion that I was... I don't... I don't know. Was there fences in this? Um... I... Hmm. What's this? Oh, there isn't. Okay, well, interesting. I didn't know that. Um, I guess we're sticking with this, but... But, yeah, you know, I, I don't know. No, oh, that doesn't look good. But I don't know what, or what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll just let it sit, you know, and, and if it's still there, I'll just come to the conclusion. But I, I just, I don't know. It's... it's not an easy thing. I mean, I haven't even... I haven't really told my girlfriend either, you know, she doesn't know a thing. She, I don't even know what I'm gonna say to her, at least, I mean... I want to be vocal about it, you know, I love her. It's just not an easy thing to talk about, you know? Nice little dock going here. I'll put some pressure plates on the top there instead of slabs. You know, it's, it's quaint, you know, I like it. I think it'd be nice as well. Maybe if we get some cobblestone, make like a paved level path there. The little dock. That'd be quite nice, I think. I don't even know what would my my I, don't, I honestly don't even know what my friends would think to be honest. I, I I don't know if they'd be uncomfortable by the fact that I that I would be coming out as bisexual. I like I don't know. They're it's so stressful 
you know, to think about all these these possibilities or all these things that, you know, that that could be, you, you know, that the, the people I'd have to tell, all the things I'd have to do, it, it's just so stressful. It kind of makes me want to suppress these feelings and forget I ever had them and just move on. I'd, I'd have to tell my, my mom, my, my stepdad, my, my grandmother, my brother, all my friends, everyone, and I, each of them could react differently. Negatively, positively, I, it's so stressful to think about, you know? My girlfriend, I have to tell everyone. And that's just really scary. It's, it's a lot. It's definitely a lot. Hey, look, a nice little path to the dock here. I'm liking this. It's a nice little, nice little island, you know? We can put some torches here. Probably get a couple going on there too as well. There we go. I like this. It's a nice area, you know? It's a nice little dock area. I think I can still make a boat, right? Well, we can. Is it, was there coordinates in this version? Yeah, there are. Okay. Well, I'll keep those. I'll write those down. Because, honestly, I like this lighthouse, but I don't think I want to, you know, build my final house here. You know what I mean? I, I like it, but I don't think I want to settle here forever. We'll get this into more torches here, and we'll make a boat. Ah, uh, the old boat texture. Who could forget? And the old cobblestone texture, too. I miss the old sounds. Alright. Nice mountainous area, but we should get going. Let me just, uh... Take note of the screenshots. Or, not the screenshots, the uh, coordinates. Just uh, save those to my desktop here. Um, lakeside cabin chords. All right, thank you, light shot. But let's get going. Don't crash into my boat, please. I know how fragile boats were in the old days. Can you still... Oh, you can. But it's only backwards. That's still cool, though. Third person view. Wow. Okay. I... Thank you. That's awesome. More cows. I make, make more leather armor. Is my leather okay? Yeah, we're, we're good. Leather armor is nice to have. It, it's nice that uh, leather feels a lot more, you know, frequent to drop in this version of Minecraft. I, I feel like in the modern versions, I don't get leather as much. And, you know, part of me kind of feels bad that I'm talking to random strangers on the internet on a YouTube video um, about this before close, close ones, but something about venting to just strangers or yourself, and it's, it's refreshing, it's something different. I don't know how to explain it, it's just, you know, it just feels nice. And I hope if anyone I know sees this, that you don't be offended, or you don't take it the wrong way at all. 
I'm sure whoever you are, I love you. <laughs> but yeah, it's 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 hard. And you know, I'm not. I'm definitely not saying that like I dislike women or anything like that. Like I definitely still have that that attraction to women as well. Um, but you know, I also feel an attraction to men. Or what I think is an attraction to men. Like I said, I'm really confused on this, and I don't really know how to explore it more while I'm in a relationship, because I don't want to disrespect my relationship. I love my girlfriend. I don't want to do that kind of stuff to her. But, you know, this is kind of important to me, and I kind of want to figure it out. Axes do more damage in this version of Minecraft? No, but they break a lot faster. Jeez. Zero? Zero leather? Holy. You know. Yeah, I keep saying you know a lot. <laughs> it's just kind of a, a symptom of just ranting on camera, you know? The Minecraft music sort of lulling you. <laughs> I know it gets really, really dark on camera when, you know, you guys are watching. And, you know, I apologize for that. Um, I wish I could do, like, a lighter thing. I'll try pr placing a torch every every couple seconds down so you can see. You know what? I might actually go back, to be honest, because it's kind of... It's kind of getting really dark. <laughs> um, again, I apologize if it's... I don't think there was a... Uh, uh, brightness slider. There wasn't. That's horrible. Mm, yeah. I took my bass guitar into uh, a music center today. Um, I guess I never mentioned this before, but I, uh, I had a bass guitar a while ago. I got one a while ago. About two years when I was in high school. Or not two years, uh, actually, I, I, two years ago, like three years now, four, almost four. Wow, I was in high school a while ago, jeez. Um, no, um, there are snowballs. Good knockback. Um, oh, I can see the house in the distance, guys. I, I don't know if you can see it, because it's, it's dark, but it's over there. Anyway, yeah, I, um, I had a bass guitar, and, um, I really, uh, I really liked playing it. I was in my school's band class, our instrumental class, and, you know, I'd, I'd present, we had this year-end show that I'd present in, oh boy, that's a skeleton, I don't want to deal with that right now, skeletons are deadly, um, and I never properly got it set up, so it was always, it was playing okay, but it was never playing to its fullest, you know, like, optimized, mm. nicest sounding way. Um, so I dropped it off at the, <laughs> at the local music center, because I don't know how to do it myself, you know, uh, today, and, you know, that's, that's, that's what's happening, I guess. It's getting all set up, and hopefully I can get back to playing. I haven't really had much time here and there to play it. And, you know, it's kind of been more like a hobby here and there, but I've always wanted to be in a band. It'd be nice. Hey, pig. How you doing? Feels so safe on this island. It's nice. I don't like this one piece of... Sand, though. I'm gonna replace that? Oh, I do have dirt. Look at that. And this, like, three. Try to make the island look a little bit more natural, you know? I like building things. It's nice. And I'm really fond of this little lakeside cabin. 
you know, two little windows poking out, everything you'd need. Workbench, furnace. Yeah, there was no charcoal in this version, but... Oh, it's nice. We didn't really do much today, but... You know, that's just kind of how it is sometimes, right? I did want to find an actual spot for a, you know, permanent house. This was more like a shack, <laughs> an outpost, if you will. But, uh, but, yeah. Thanks for listening to me rant again, guys. <laughs> Gotta get it off my chest somewhere, right? Sometimes Minecraft is the best way. Like I said, I, I don't know if I'll ever fully explore my bisexuality or if I'm just gonna, you know, suppress it and just forget about it, but right now I'll just keep struggling with my bisexuality, I guess. <laughs> you know, sucks, but it is what it is, right? I've had these, yeah, you know, I've, I've had like a couple feelings in the past two years, but never this strong before, so I don't know. I don't know. Guess we'll leave it at that. <laughs>